Woodhouse, the owner of Waterbirth Solutions, and I'm here today to talk about inflating birth pools. The very first thing you want to do when you're figuring out where you want to place your birth pool is to consider two things. The first is, is that your midwife has plenty of access to all sides of the birth pool. And the second um, thing to consider is that you can reach your water source here. So make sure your hose is long enough and don't put it in a place that you can't get water. The first step is to lay down a waterproof barrier. We've already done this in this case, uh, basically where the pool's gonna go. And also we did sweep to make sure there's no sharp objects because you wouldn't want to accidentally puncture your pool. We've also taken the pool out of the box and the very first step to inflating is to locate a, an electric air pump. And the first portion of the pool that you're going to inflate is the floor. And I also want to say that sometimes when a pool comes out of its box, it will have some discoloration or markings on it. It does not affect the quality of the pool. It's just something that occurred during manufacturing, so do not, do not be concerned. So I have located my um, valve here on the floor, and I'm going to figure out which one of my adapters that comes with the air pump, which one fits, and I've already kind of pre-selected it. And I'm going to insert it into the little chamber, and I'm going to turn on the air pump. Now I'm going to stretch out the pool because I'm only seeing half the floor and I would like to get most of it inflated. There is always, you can consider that you can always come back and fill up your pool um, and make it more firm. There we go. Make it firm as you go along. Um, so don't fill if you miss a chamber right at the very first that you've missed an opportunity. You can come back and fill it up anytime. All right, so now I'm going to undo the valve again, insert the air pump. On this type of pool, there is a wall chamber and a top chamber. And the first chamber that we want to inflate is the wall chamber. If you have a three ring pool, like a birth pool in a box, you're going to fill up your bottom chamber, your second chamber, and then your top chamber in that order. So I'm going to locate a valve. And on the aqua one, all the valves are on one side. Um, and they screw off like that, creating a very open hole. Again, I'm going to figure out which one of my adapters fits into the hole, which happens to be the same one as before. And I'm going to reinsert my air pump and start inflating. It doesn't have to be totally firm at this point, but it'll be nice because it'll start to give the pool some structure. right this moment just to because um, I want to fit a liner on so I'm going to leave it a little bit loose and you screw the top on and that stops the air from going out uh, and then I'm going to go to the next chamber which is the top ring and I'm going to do the same process but again I'm going to leave it very wrinkly because I want to fit a liner on if I was at home and I was only testing the pool I, would, I wouldn't worry about a liner. You could fully inflate the pool and let it sit overnight, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. 